Indeed, it seems just like yesterday that we were gathered for this very Mass, albeit in our beautiful chapel on the campus of Newman University, calling down the Holy Spirit just 12 months ago. But think what's happened in 12 relatively fast and short months. So much has changed, hasn't it? Because we're dealing with a new and troubling reality, the likes of which none of us have ever lived through before, a worldwide pandemic. And because of that, we have to live our lives so differently. We must now practice social distancing, which should be hard for us as human beings, and certainly hard for us as Christians. We're called to assiduously wash our hands and make sure that we're taking good care not to infect others. All of this and, and all the consequences that it has occasioned for us has made our lives harder and certainly much more different than it was just one year ago. Yes, life has changed. But you know, the more I think about it, my dear friends, the most important things have not changed. The sun came up this morning. A new day has started. The sun presumably will go down tonight and end another day in your life and in mine. The world is still here. Babies are still being born. People are going to work. People are getting on with their lives in most normal of a fashion as possible. All of that stays the same. But even more important than that, God's love is eternal. That has not changed. God has not altered or diminished his infinite love for you or for me. Christ, his divine son, fully human, fully divine, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the church, the church he founded over 2,000 years ago on the day of Pentecost, the day when he sent the Holy Spirit upon us, the church is still at work in the world, advancing the mission of the gospel. And that is why we are here at Newman University. That is why we have this institution of higher learning, because we are part of the church, part of the mission of the church to advance the gospel and to form disciples of Jesus Christ.